code compliance, <coughs> code enforcement. Has the letter in there? Are there any questions pertaining to that? He has some stats. Uh, just some our inspections were 63 last month. Uh, issued 35 permits and 25 code violations. And paid out to the contractor 1,050 and permit fees 1669. So we're almost up even with our expenditures for the contract. One of the big things that happened this week was we had our uh, interactive mapping system training that was done over at the EOC in conjunction with the county. They had some people there. And the new mapping system, if you haven't noticed, is available on the website. If I can get it to work here, I wanted to show what it looks like. If you go on the website, and, and the citizens certainly can do this, right on our website, they put their cursor on, or they can press on government, and they're going to go over here to Glen Rose Interactive Web Map. <clears throat> they click on it. And there's the user manual there. They can click it to learn how to use it. And they come on down here. And the first two are open to the general public. And they'll work on any computer. The only difference between the two is that the top one also supports an Android tablet. And the second one supports Apple iPads. So we'll just click, click on there, give a real quick example of what it looks like. And this is what it will look like when a citizen uh, doesn't like me. Did you pay our internet bill? <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. So we'll go ahead and click <coughs> on that one. And bring that up. And you first thing it's set up to zoom automatically. So let's just say we want to zoom in here. And that's towards downtown. And then it's got different layers on it. So let's give you a couple examples of that. Let's go to an uh, aerial so we can see what the town looks like in the map here. Then you just hit refresh. And there it goes. So we want to zoom down a little bit more. You can see it's got all the names of the streets on it. And let's say we want to know where the historical district is. So we hit refresh. <coughs> it takes its time. Uh, yeah, since it's on aerial, it takes that aerial view is more broad. It takes longer to refresh. Where did you pull up the people sort of on the flood zone? I'm going to show. Yeah, I'll show that to you next. Yeah. And it is still being built out. And what I mean by built out, I mean there's still layers being placed on it. So um, what you're going to see here is here's the historical district that you can see. So let's just say we wanted to know if the historical district was in the fifth name. Let's And what you're seeing is exactly what citizens can see. They don't need any passwords or anything else. What I'm working right off is what any citizen can go onto our website now and look at this. And again, it's going to take a little time because when you're on that uh, view, just a bit. And there's the flood of flame. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm scared. I'm sure you have new <laughs> related board battery. Anyway, that is just a touching on it. Um, as we go along, the, the, the uh, EHT has been actively involved with this, with the developers, and they're, they're reaching a conclusion on the zoning. So uh, you all, citizens will be able to go on the site, see what zone they're in and everything else. So, that's great. Have any questions?